Today we are beyond sore, but feeling better than yesterday. And instead of going right to the mountain and just getting back into the soreness of things, I'm gonna try to break down a little bit to you guys what I do for stretches and what you can do in the off season to increase your flexibility and to make it so that when you're snowboarding, it doesn't feel like it's your first day every time you go riding and you can bounce back easier, be able to actually ride again the next day. So what I do like to start off with though is dynamic stretching. You'll see me, I just start working into all positions. I have no exact routine that I do. I just move my body, touch extensions of different stretches and it's good if you wanna go for a walk or a jog or something, get your body warmed up. But yeah, we're gonna warm up, we're gonna get into this, do some dynamic stretches here, warm the body up and uh, I'll try to break down a couple more that I do that's actually good and helpful for snowboarding. So whew, let's do this. Details or yeah, email 100%. and I'll All right, so that was just me basically running through all the stretches that I know, which maybe are from a routine or that I've seen online or from other YouTube videos, and I don't actually reach and pull into them dramatically. I just touch them, and then I release, and I go to another one. That's what a dynamic stretch is. Now that my body's warmed up, I'm about to get into some static stretches where I hold them and I breathe into them, and I guess the most crucial thing I could say is that you wanna find the point where comfort and uncomfort meet and you wanna hover on that line and breathe into it. And on your in breath, you should be able to breathe in to your max and then on your out breath, you should be able to extend more and get a little bit more reach. And that's pretty much the basis of stretching is just keep your mind clear of any thoughts and inhale, deep breath, not that stretched. And then on your exhale, breathe a little bit more and hang on to it. And then you should be able to hold that same spot for your next inhale and then, I don't know, three, five, maybe work your way up to about eight breaths. The longer, the better. And really any stretches that you do at first are better than no stretches. So I'm gonna jump into this right now and then break down the exact snowboard stretches afterwards. Quick break, this Hollywood smashed up some cauliflower over here and eggs, but we already cranked those out. You're ready for the neck, that's what you're getting at. Gratitude. Mate, slamming. So basic, you got so slamming. All right, shouts to Niso for the neutralization. Back to the statics. As you can see, a lot of the stretches that I'm doing are not only working on flexibility, but they're also working on balance as well, which is so game changing for snowboarding. Call this the method. <laughs> Boost. This is also amazing for realigning your symmetry. If you notice that one side isn't as flexible as the other, you could just take an extra 10 seconds or an extra couple breaths to work on that side and get your whole body realigned, which is also the reason why if you guys see me strapping and goofy all the time, I'm a regular rider, but if one side of my hip or leg starts to hurt or anything like that, I just switch it over to strapping in goofy footed and it takes away pressure points and it like realigns my body to not always have my left hip hanging with all the weight of the board and the bindings. So very highly suggest doing as much switch riding as you can, not even to improve your switch, but to improve your regular so that your whole body is balanced. <laughs> Alright, I hope you 
you guys could see some of those stretches and pause the video enough to be able to break them down and try them yourself. There's just way too many for me to explain all of them and any stretches that you do are better than none. But yeah, I'm gonna get into some real snowboarding stretches now that helped me. I had back issues, spinal elongation issues back in 2012 and that's when I first started YouTubing and researching stretching which led me to yoga, which led me to meditation, which changed my life for the better forever. And I'm not the most flexible because I don't stretch enough. Nobody does, you can't stretch enough. But here are some good stretches that is literally almost common sense for improving your grabs on snowboarding and just your snowboard movement altogether. All right, so these are some of the most common sense stretches that nobody thinks about. Basically, you just act like you're strapped in, hip distance apart, whatever feels comfortable, and you just mimic any grab that you want to on a snowboard. And start off with simple indie grab. If you have issues spinning front side, because you're always grabbing outside the knee on indie, it works so good to grab the indie, then bend down and work on turning your head towards where you would be spinning. It works with any single grab. If you're having issues grabbing tail grab on a 720, it's nice because you can lean down, put your weight into the grab, and this is actually how you'd be spinning if you were spinning front side 720 tail grab. So basically any issues that you have with any of your grabs, if it's stale fish, you can work on just bending down, not at the waist, bent over like that, but squatting down, grabbing stale fish, and then turning your head to mimic any spin. So back seven stale fish, boom. Front seven double nose grab, boom. Back one indie, boom front seven or front three melon or front 10 melon, boom. And you can work on actually positioning your hand for more steez either further up or further back during your grab. Whew. You'll honestly feel it right away. I already feel the burn right there. This is what I did to learn all of my grabs initially. I don't really do it too much anymore, but I should. Yeah, it really is amazing. You can do double stiffies. You can practice truck driver and just envision in your head if you're gonna be spinning. If you spin cab five and you grab an indie, hold the position and just balance it there. Find comfort, breathe into it, do whatever you gotta do. You can practice tuck knees, you can practice double tail grabs, you can practice fully boning out your tricks. Cause you can actually extend like you were in the air with all the free movement, but you have all the time to hang out and actually learn what it's gonna be like when you're really doing these grabs. Look up fresh ones, roast beef, chicken salad, whatever they are, beef curtains, you can look up and try any of them, but it's super nice because it's like you're strapped in, but you're not, as long as you keep your feet in the position where they should be when your bindings are locked in, then you'll get all types of new workouts and it's just really good to practice those grabs, which you can normally only do when you're in the air, but you can do them off hill. All right guys, so I really hope this video helped you guys realize that it's not so much about the exact stretch that you do that's gonna help you out. It's just about getting out there and putting the time in. The more stretching you do, the more stoked your body will be, the more flexible you'll be, and the more likely when you're upside down tackling a rail or your arm gets pinned behind your back if you scorpion or something, that it's not the first time your body has been in that position. So like I said, you won't be getting injured. You will just be maybe sore or just a little tweaked or something. Your body can snap back quicker. It's good for you all around health and everything. And yeah, if you guys like this video, just give it a thumbs up. Hope it helped you out in any way possible. Um, and yet again, another huge shout out to all the Patreons who have been supporting the dream. And if anybody wants to support as well, I'll leave the link in the description below. Me and Niso Hollywood are just here cranking out computer work today. And what you got to say, dog? Gets heavy on the head, that's for sure. <laughs> you still think about boxes, dude? <laughs> no. No? It's over? You're done snowboarding? I mean, dude, I just don't think about it. I just do them. Facts. Get out there, guys. <laughs>